All right. Somebody asked me about becoming a WordPress professional, freelance, working for somebody. This is a specialization in the web design and development field that a lot of people ignore to their detriment because WordPress is such a huge and vastly used content management system. To ignore it is to ignore all this money laying around on the ground for you to pick up. Now, that being said, WordPress is not exactly development. It's more of a, a disparate set of skills that you would put together to become a WordPress professional. So what does that mean? Well, first of all, you got to understand WordPress, how to install it, how to configure it, understand the basic application itself. Now, for us developers, this may seem trivial, but think about the small business owner who uses WordPress. Think about somebody who wants to get a website up quickly, who wants to update their content on a regular basis. Somebody might want to implement an e-commerce component, et cetera, et cetera. WordPress makes it pretty easy to do and to manage, but that setup can be daunting from registering a domain name, from picking a theme slash template, configuring that template, whether to use uh, add-ons to WordPress like Elementor or choosing from the myriad of plugins that are out there. What about somebody who wants to set up a podcast for their business, which could make sense in many situations? Again, a WordPress professional, this is a term I coined maybe in 2006, is a type of web developer, if you will, but a big part of their job is just understanding WordPress, the core application, the themes, the theme ecosystem, the plugin ecosystem, security, setup issues, hosting, that kind of stuff. So it's a very viable business. Now, if you are a WordPress professional, you are best served if you learn the web stack. You don't necessarily need to, but boy, it will go a long way to helping you out. So the web stack, HTML5, CSS3, a, smidge, a smidgen of JavaScript and PHP. Why PHP over JavaScript? Because WordPress is created with PHP. Again, you may leverage your PHP skills every so often if you're a WordPress professional. That could be creating themes, updating plugins, maybe creating a custom plugin, integrating a Stripe store with WordPress. That all said, one of the powers of WordPress is the plugin architecture. There are probably thousands and thousands of plugins out there. Your job as a WordPress professional is to know which plugins are safe, which ones should be used, which ones shouldn't be used, a lot of times when you hear about WordPress being hacked, it's actually through the plugins. So typically, I always recommend if you're going to use WordPress plugins, use a paid one and be very careful about all that. Anyway, that being said, yes, WordPress professional, developer or consultant, a lot of, a lot of opportunity there because it's so widely used. And despite Shopify and Wix and Squarespace and, all the, um, and these other uh, no code platforms and builders, WordPress continues to gain in popularity. It just sits in that sweet spot and it's something you should underestimate, especially, especially if you want to get into freelance development.